just one guy like that who um, who loves to sing, you know, who loves music, who's uh, just a regular guy, um, has big dreams and aspirations, just like everybody else, um, and who's been very fortunate to live his dreams. You know, I've I've been very very lucky to do what I, I love to do, to make music and to share my music with the rest of the world. Um, my interest in show business, I don't know. Um, music was always in the family, you know. So in terms of showbiz, I had to carve my way one way or the other. But of course, I was inspired by, you know, the, the previous antecedents of my, my late dad, uh, the great Art Alade, um, and other members of my family, you know, my uncles, aunties, you know, different musicians left, right, and center. Um, I think it's pretty much about my talent, first of all, um, yes. getting me on all sorts of platforms. It's also about connections. It's about who you know and um, your, your network. Um, yeah, and again, it's, it's really about the talent. Uh, people are able to entrust their events to me um, to, to handle, to steer uh, the, the ship, so to speak. And um, I've been very fortunate to be able to do a good job of it. Um, first of all, no foreign celebrity headlines my concert. It's my concert. You know, it's it's love like a movie. It's a it's a franchise that belongs to us, um, and we we invite you know um, international celebrities just to add a touch of spice, a touch of flavor, you know, um, and uh, you know to excite the audience even further. You know, those that have come, you know, to the concert know, you know, even when you take out the celebrity we have an, an amazing show so they're just like a little cherry on top you know that we we put there i uh, love like a movie came up as um as an idea of a show you know we just wanted to do a concert and it evolved you know um to becoming what it is today i'm not into movie production <laughs> I'm into event production, um, as you can see on my t-shirt, Live Sport Productions. That's what we do. We pr produce events, concerts, summits, um, you know, all the technical details, no matter how small and no matter how large, you know, we've done those over the last few years. Um, yeah. Other things I'm involved in, um, heavier on, on Live Sport Productions, it's a, it's a uh, it's a part of a bigger group, it's called the Live Sport Group, we're a 360 creative agency. Um, so we're hoping to uh, develop further, you know, um, and go into more branding and more lifestyle um, activities, not just production. So it's a whole, wholesome um, group of companies. Um, we also, you know, recording new music, I'm, I'm recording new music, um, and also I'm going to be promoting my album. Uh, Naked, my fifth studio album in, in 2016. So I have uh, quite a lot of, of activities lined up. Have you heard of the name Zena? Mm, I think so. You think so? Okay. That's, that's, that's someone signed to Life Sport Entertainment. Um, you know, she's a, an incredible singer and dancer. Um, she's one of those that we're supporting the, you know, uh, her career. Um, over the years, there's been many, many many an artist that has um, uh, ha has been lucky or been opportuned to um, either get direction or inspiration or some kind of support you know from myself and my team so we do this on a daily on a daily basis and um, you know uh, our foundation as well you know caters to um, promoting creativity you know, we're starting to see how we can develop further on exchange programs and getting some of our creative guys from fashion designing, you know, to music and dance, you know, and, and uh, for every time we even do Love Like a Movie, for example, when we have all our technical crew, some of our technical crew or inter international yeah. artists, we make sure that they, you know, they, they share their skill sets, their, their knowledge, you know, in terms of their profession, you know, with our local artisans and our local artists and um, hands, you know, here so that they can help develop their, their craft. So we're doing our own bit, you know, to uh, inspire other artists. Not at all. I'm not phased, I'm not under pressure to make music because of uh, what's popular in the market. It's really about how I feel about music. Music comes to me in you know, different ways, just as it, as it comes to any other musician. It's about the vibe, it's about what happens in the studio at that time, who you're working with, 
and just your mood, you know. So if I'm making a fast song, you know, like Bahanikidi, uh, Bahanikidi, Mahala, it's, it's just what it is. If I decide to go, you're not the girl I used to know, it's a mood, you know. So there's, there's a mood for each song. Um, or you know me, say, because you know Bahanu. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man of many parts, you know, I yeah. speak Yoruba, you know, I, I speak English, I sing in, you know, as many different languages as I can. So it's really about the music. Okay, if you're out there and you're trying to find your way in life or trying to find your way in music, um, you have to remember some key things. First of all, you put God first. You know, before you do anything, you know, make sure that you you understand that the Supreme and the, the, the Almighty is in charge of your life and your talent. You know, so always give back, you know, to to He who has made you. So sing in church, you know, sing, sing in mosque, sing where you worship, you know, start to develop your talent and share your talent, you know, um, in, in building you know, those around you. And then uh, work more on your craft, you know, be steadfast. Things are gonna look like, you know, uh, uh, they're, they're not, you know, no, nobody, nobody's giving you an opportunity. So you have to be very adamant, you have to be stubborn, you have to be strong-willed, you know, this business is really not for the faint-hearted. If it is, everybody around you will be crying. All, the, all your favorite artists are just, you know, they'll never make it. So you have to have some sense of stubborn, <laughs> stubborn head, you know, um, but, but really stay focused um, and keep working hard. Your hard work is what will pay off at the uh, end of the day. You know, it's about your work ethic. How hard do you work? How, how willing are you to learn? How, how do you listen? It's not always about you. You know, put others first and then uh, just after, you know, some time, you, you'll get there. Hey everybody, this is Dari and it's been really, really nice hanging out with you guys right here on TVC Connect Meets. Boom!